This is the disposable uh, handheld cryo probe uh, from the Trek. It comes with the blue, uh, it's a device, it has this blue handle, which is what's going to prime, prime the, the, the probe later on. And uh, this is basically uh, protection for the cryo probe tubing, and it also can act if needed as uh, an exhaust system uh, for the nitrous oxide. So usually you don't need this in theater, but if you're gonna use it in a small room, it's probably a good thing to uh, have this in mind that that exists. Uh, so we're gonna remove the exhaust system as we're in theater, we're gonna, not going to need it. I'm gonna give this to Misha. So we're gonna prime it. To prime the probe, you need to basically rotate this 270 degrees. It has a little mark there uh, that will align with this little mark here to tell you that you've primed it. So we're gonna proceed to that. It's a bit stiff to start with, so don't worry about that. So we're priming it now. So that's 180 degrees. And when you reach almost 270, you'll hear a click. And that means that you have primed it now we remove the, the, the handle and that means that the cryo probe is ready. We're going to test it and make sure that it is working. So we will press once and if, I don't know if you can hear it and you can see the smoke coming out. So that means that it is working nicely. And once we've done that, it's all probed, we know that it's working, and now we're gonna try it and see how it freezes in the eye. Yep, sorry, good. It's actually very nice to have a probe that has no attachments or anything to it, because again, you can maneuver it much easier than what we usually are used to with the cabling that, that sometimes is a bit stiff and it conditions the way you have to angle yourself. So I'm gonna go proceed with, so I'm gonna position myself. I don't know if you can see it there. It's a little bit of a posterior break, but we're reaching the posterior edge. There you go, beautiful. Mm. Absolutely excellent, quick, beautiful freezing that. So you can see it was very, very quick. So we're waiting for the tip to defrost a little bit. It's quick, it's, uh, you know, intense. You don't need to keep it for a long time. One thing I have to say is that you have to probably get used to the uh, to the button to press because it is a little bit stiff, you know, from the amount of power that you have to that you have to put a little bit of power to press. So on the button. So now I'm pressing again. But once you get used to it, this is my third go, and it works very nicely. So it's, I think it's as everything a matter of getting used to things. So. Beautiful. That looked very, very good. You don't always have to use your index finger. You might be able to use your thumb if you're positioning it superiorly, as I am now, for example. There's a little suspicious area here that I'm going to just give it a little bit of a... Okay, so we're done with this. And we're ready to go. Perfect. Thank you.